Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share my May favorites with you in the foodie and beauty categories. I have a few things that I've really fallen in love with and that I'm going to share with you right now. So let's get to it. The first item is this hazelnut cream and I actually got this from my Try the World Italy box and if you're interested in seeing the full video and everything else that was in the box you can click on the link above or you could find the link below in the description box but of all the things that I got in that box this hazelnut cream is the thing that really blew my mind um, when I smelled it initially I thought it smelled like Nutella and it definitely does because Nutella has a very strong hazelnut smell but the taste of this is so much better than Nutella at least in my opinion the biggest difference for me between this hazelnut cream and Nutella chocolate aside was that this had almost an elegance to it. It felt more like something a grown-up could eat, uh, which is not to say that Nutella isn't absolutely delicious or eaten by adults. It's just this one had more of a gourmet feeling and more of a sophistication to it. And I think the ingredients were a little bit better as well. And I just think that if you are a fan of hazelnut spreads, this is one that is definitely worth trying out. The second item is this nut milk bag. And I've had this for many months now and I've been using it in different nut milks that I've made. When I started making homemade nut milk, I was using cheesecloth. And cheesecloth is a great tool and you can absolutely use it and it totally works. But I found that maybe the first time you use the cheesecloth, it cloth that works okay but when I would use the cheesecloth maybe like a second time or a third time the holes were just getting bigger and bigger and I found for all the work that I was doing to try to make this perfectly strained clean almond milk I would always end up with that one or two or three little chunks that would just get through and to me that just defeats the purpose of doing the straining in the first place why not just drink the almond milk with all the extra fiber and just use it in a smoothie or something like that where you're getting all the nutritional value of the entire nut I think if you're going to make an almond milk and you want it to be clean and light the way they are when you purchase them at the store, the nut, the nut bag is definitely the way to go. It is very easy. You basically put this over your bowl or whatever you're collecting your milk in. You put, you put everything that's been ground together and then you just squeeze it the way you would like a cheesecloth. The difference is nothing gets through the sucker. And for me, this is much easier to wash because it's meant to be reusable kind of forever as long as you take care of it. So I'm a huge fan of this and if you've used a nut bag and you have strong feelings about it one way or the other, please comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. Are you a nut bag fan or do you just prefer traditional cheesecloth? So anyways, that was my second item. My next favorite for the month of May are these flutter lashes that I actually got in a goodie bag at a Candy Johnson Glaminar. And I've been holding on to them forever because they're really expensive lashes and I really wanted to save them for an important event. And like a year and a half came and went and I went to all these weddings and all these great functions and I never wore them. And then finally I thought, you know what, I'm going to wear them to BeautyCon. If, if you can't wear your fancy lashes to BeautyCon, then where are you going to wear them to? And they went on so easily and so beautifully. They stayed on. I only had to put the glue on once, attach them to my eye one time, and they were much more comfortable than any lash I've used, but mostly it was the ease of application. And I liked them because they were dramatic enough to make me feel like I was wearing lashes, which is kind of the feeling that you want when you put them on. But also I felt like they looked really natural, like they didn't look crazy or over the top like I thought they were going to do when I first saw them. And since we're on the topic of lashes, I found this tool from Tarte. It's actually a YouTube made me buy it. One of my favorite YouTubers was using these one day and I thought they were really interesting and they somehow looked like they'd be easier to use than some of the other eyelash tools that I have. And they absolutely are. And I've used them not just on the flutter lashes, but on some Ardell's as well. And they work beautifully in either case. They're just, they're just a cleaner, simpler design than some of the other tools I use. And really you just pinch your lashes in there, put your glue on, wait for it to get tacky, 30 to 60 seconds, and then you can apply it. And I find that these just make it infinitely easier than using a traditional tweezer or even your fingers. I think your fingers are a great tool for pretty much anything makeup or beauty related, but sometimes I feel like my hands are in the way of my reflection and so I can't even see what I'm really doing and this allowed me to really get in there and push them and pinch them where I needed to so I'm a huge fan of this tool and I'm completely 
not ever going to use the other tools that I have again because this is just infinitely better. It's also very well made and very solid and it is from Tarte. So I will list de details below on where you could find this. I got mine from Sephora.com but I imagine that you can find them other places as well. So definitely a huge, huge favorite of mine this month. My next beauty favorite was this Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the Compact. I've talked a lot about this in a previous video and I had tested it in every which way and it just turned out to be one of my absolute favorite foundations. My next beauty favorite is a favorite not only because it's a good product from a good company, but because it's a favorite from a design perspective. I like high-end makeup because it tends to be a better quality, but I also like it because they have much better packaging, and if you're going to spend the extra couple of dollars, you want something that's special and beautiful. And my favorite brand for packaging, hands down, is Kat Von D Beauty. Now, I've loved every bit of packaging they've done for every single thing they've ever put out, but my favorite is the newest product, which is the Kat Von D Blotting Powder. Now, I will say, I think the blotting powder is fantastic, and that is worth your money if you're looking for a blotting powder. But the real appeal for me was the Compact, which is a wax seal design with the logo in it. And what I really like about this Compact, aside from the fact that it's beautiful and it houses a great product, is that it's refillable. So when your blotting powder runs out, you can put in a new blotting powder and they do sell that at Sephora.com and probably KatVonDBeauty.com as well. Um, but also, I just feel like if you wanted to or if you felt compelled to, you could take out the little tin once you're done with the blotting powder and just carry it around as a really good compact just to check up on your makeup or store little things like maybe Q-tips or something in that little base where the blotting powder once was. So I'm excited about this product. I plan on holding on to this compact forever. And I'm secretly hoping, or not so secretly now that I said it on video, that Kat Von D Beauty puts out the mirror that they tease they teased a hand mirror in the exact same design but obviously bigger size than the compact and I really hope they put it out so here's to hoping but definitely two thumbs up from a design perspective as well as a quality perspective. And my last beauty favorite for the month of May is pretty much everything related to BeautyCon New York including this bag. Now I have three videos up for BeautyCon New York. One of them was for my BeautyCon bag, which I just showed you, which I paid $80 for, and it's well over $250 worth of uh, merchandise inside, which was higher end than I remember in past beauty cons and also I have a video for all the swag that I got which was also at least a couple hundred dollars worth and then I have a, like a quick and dirty version of that same video for those of you who would rather just see the stuff and the price points and just kind of the basics on the item so there's two versions of the swag video one that happens in under three minutes one that's a little bit longer and then this video so if you're interested in any of those click on the links below and then there should be one floating above my head right now um, that you can also watch if you want to just make it easier for yourself so I have one more item and that is this right here and please comment below if you know what this is and what it is used for I put a blog post on foodiebeautylife.com under blogs and under life plugs talking about this little Thing that I just showed you and why it's not only a May favorite but just a favorite for life. So I hope you'll join me on foodiebeautylife.com and I hope you'll join me again on Foodie Beauty Life on YouTube. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're enjoying my videos please subscribe to my channel. I look forward to spending more time with you and I hope you have a great day. Take care.